Hey there, I'm Dan, Mark's brother. We come from a long line of proud horsemen. Racing's always been my thing. I've had some big wins in my day. These days, I own and train racehorses, and I know what it takes to be a top contender, paying attention to detail. And in my experience, one of the most important details is disease prevention. Why? Well, we'd never really worried much about disease, never had a serious issue. But last year, I had to scratch a few sick horses and lost another. That really hurt. We've had a few serious bouts of flu go through the shed row lately, too. I know people who say, well, it's just part of life, it's expected. But you know, just because it's expected doesn't mean it should be accepted. I believe disease prevention is key to a winning program, and that starts at home. It's not about a germ-free stable, it's about preventing germs from spreading and focusing on what I can control. Like separating new horses, especially yearlings, when they come home. I keep new animals separate from other horses for one week. That means they don't mingle with my other horses. During that week, my staff and I watch for signs of sickness, like cough, fever, snotty nose, bad appetite, and diarrhea. And I don't just separate the horse. All tack, equipment, grooming, and cleaning supplies too. I use red duct tape for their equipment so I know whose is whose. My grooms and I also work with separated horses after all others, so we don't spread germs from them to a healthy horse. A good vaccination program is key too. It's just good management as far as I'm concerned. I work with my vet to make sure all my animals are vaccinated and up to date. I know that vaccines aren't perfect, but using them lowers my odds of a sick horse. That's money well spent. I do some pretty simple things too. Clean hands, clothes, and equipment are huge. I'm on my grooms about this all the time, especially their hands. They go around petting the horses and where do they touch them? Right around their mouth, nose, and eyes, the areas germs want to get. Hand sanitizers are really good and they're so easy to use. Everyone's better with this since I've made them more available in the stable. When it's time to hit the road, I inspect the horses. Are they looking healthy? Any diarrhea, snot, or cough? What's their temperature? I'm big on taking daily temperatures, so I know what's normal, and I know if there's something going on that I can't see. Then, I focus on my trailer. I know it can be a source of germs, so it's cleaned out and disinfected before loading up. These days, I bring my own broom and shovel. I used to use the ones provided by the track to clean up the trailer. I'd even sweep the walls and dividers, but I realized I was just spreading germs from my horse and every other trailer that broom had been in, all over. I was doing the germs a favor. Now, I use only my tools in my trailer, and I spray the walls and dividers. At the track paddock, a clean stall is my first priority. I want it cleaned out and disinfected. I keep some disinfectant wipes handy for the cross ties. I shorten them too so they can't be chewed. It's simple stuff, but it helps. My motto at the track is, be selfish. Keep your hands, clothes, and tools clean and to yourself. We're all pretty good about no nose-to-nose -nose contact, but people's hands are another story. And remember, even though you bring a healthy horse, they're still at risk. They're stressed from travel and the race. They might have to share items, and they can come into contact with people and other horses. Folks that come from all over, who knows what they're carrying? Check out this map showing where standard bred horses traveled from one race in Ontario this year. Seven different training centers, all with different germs, all come into the track. Here's another map showing where thoroughbred horses traveled from for an international race. Imagine all of these horses picked up some disease at the track. Think of all the new places and horses those germs would visit. It can get out of hand pretty fast. At the end of the day, winning horses are healthy horses. We've all got a huge investment in our animals, and disease is pricey. Prevention is cheaper. But it's not just about saving money. I do it for the horses. Like I said, just because disease is expected doesn't mean it should be accepted. I want to write my own ticket when it comes to horse health, and I'd wager you do too. The question you have to ask yourself is, are you involved in risky behavior? If so, talk to your vet, make a plan, address your risks, and you'll be in a better position to give the front runners a run for their money.